How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Rally Adventure expansion is finally here and this is your ultimate guide. Everything you need to know about how the expansion works, how to get started, how to pick the teams, how the point system works and all that stuff. Just everything you need to know. Let's jump straight into it. When you first load up the game after downloading the expansion you will see a new icon on the map that is the Rally Adventure starting point. This is where you will need to drive to to start the Rally Adventure expedition which is still of the initial race before the initial first drive. The expedition is in the Ford F-150, the all new electric car. It's quite short. After you've done the expedition, you will end up in the initial drive race, which it will force you straight into in a Ford Focus. This is the official first drive, the initial drive, the introduction to the expansion after the expedition. Once you have completed that first initial drive in the Ford Focus, you will end up landed in the expansion itself. Now, once you've done them two things, you will then be in the expansion, you can go into the auto show freely, you can explore the map freely, however you are still stuck in the tutorial mode. If you're finding this video helpful guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying it, it helps out massively. With every Horizon game and with every Horizon expansion, there is always a tutorial section at the beginning that you can't break out of, you can't quite do anything you want to do just yet, you have to follow the game's tutorial. And once you are at this point after the expedition and after the initial drive, you have to do a total of three races. There are three different types of races in this expansion. We have the Road Rally, the Off-Road Rally and the Night Rally. The game will force you to do at least one of each category to then give you the option to do the game yourself and explore freely. So that is the full tutorial. You'll see that to start with, it will start you off with a road rally race called Devil's Pass. You have no choice but to go and do this. When you select it and start it up, it will give you your first glimpse at the rally modes. Now, every single race within the rally expansion, whether that's a night rally, a road rally, whatever it is, will have two different modes to each race. You will have the Horizon Rally, which is a race against the clock. You will follow your co-driver's pace notes and, ch and check your split times against all the drivers. And then you will have Horizon Race, just the generic Horizon Race with other players against 11 other people. Uh, AI, not real people. But those are the two different modes. Now to complete a race, you can pick whichever mode you want and you don't have to do the other one. So if you don't like the racing aspect of it and you just want to do the rally modes, the split time modes, you can just do that for the whole expansion and never have to worry about doing the races. In this case, for the first tutorial, you'll ha you have to pick the Horizon Rally. It will then talk about the next new feature as well, which is the rally driving line. There is a new option within the assist that is a separate driving line assist for rallying which you can choose to have on or off obviously it says here and um, that it recommends having it off it's a bit more challenging but if you want to keep rally driving line on by all means leave it on it makes no difference to any rewards or anything like that so this is your first glimpse of what a rally mode race is like you're on your own you're following the pace notes and as you can see in the top right hand corner your split times per sector are being compared with other rivals and other times in the world a split time your progress will come up whenever you go through a split gate as seen right here. Once you finish that road race you will then get a rally race pop up on the screen which is an orange one. It is exactly the same process. You have to do the rally mode, you have to complete it and then once you've done that the same again you will get the third and final tutorial race which is a night rally race. Once again you have to pick the rally mode. This will then be the third and final race you need to complete. Once you've done that you will then be prompted to finally pick your team. That is the tutorial over, the introduction over, you will then be prompted to pick if you want to start your journey with road racing, rally racing or night racing, all three of which you've already had a bit of a glimpse at. So it's worth noting now, once you pick a team, you obviously can't pick another one until you've gained enough points. Now it doesn't take very long to gain enough points to unlock your second team. I'll touch more on that in a second. So if you're struggling to decide what to pick, don't worry about it too much. It doesn't take very long to get your second team rolling at the same time. So in this case, I picked Road Rally, and then you finally get your glimpse at what the 
point systems look like. Now the main goal of the expansion is to beat all three bosses. I will call them bosses because that's just the generic term. There is a boss for each category, road, dirt and night rally. And as you can see to un unlock the boss race you have to reach rank 8 in that specific team and also win eight races again it's worth noting that if you do the rally mode on the races that still classes as a win as long as you come out on top so if we take a look within the team we can see how the point system works so you start off on rank one you get a bunch of different challenges based on the icons that have popped up on your map so any of the races any of the pr stunts that are blue and you will get points or rep for doing these specific things so as you can see here i'm level two i only need 300 more rep to get to the next tier but there's loads of challenges to do you know if i win this race that's 400 that'll get me straight to level three so you don't actually have to complete everything on each sector to get to the next level at this point you will see if you go back to the team selection menu it will tell you exactly how much rep you need to unlock a new team which is in my case 3000 now 3000 rep sounds like a lot but if you go back and have a look at the challenges that you have it's really not that hard to get now, every time you level up your team from five to six or six to seven it will obviously unlock a brand new selection of challenges and a bunch more pr stunts and races will pop up on the map that you can then choose to do to level up your team and get your next team going whatever this and i also saw that i was just one level away from getting the first boss for the road rally race once again you need to reach level eight but also win eight races or at least come on top for the rally mode races now the boss fight for the road racing was surprisingly easy not going to lie it's just you versus the boss again spoiler alerts if you don't want it to be spoiled it's nothing special really it's just a point to point race and you have to come out in front it was quite easy but once that is done that is technically the road racing challenge completed you haven't completed the full team because there's still plenty of challenges to go back and do to get your rep up even higher there are more levels than just level eight level eight is just the level you have to get to get the boss fight so you can complete the boss fight you can essentially complete the team by just getting to level eight and doing it that way but if you want to 100 percent the game you're gonna have to do all the challenges anyway and you can see here on the team selection menu that we have now got a tick on the road racing that is how you complete a team that is how it works and it also says that that is how you unlock the goliath race as well completing the boss fight on all three teams which doesn't seem like it would take very long to be honest what seems like it will take the longest is reaching level nine as that requires 4500 more rep just to get to level nine from level eight that's a lot of challenges considering most races would be already done by that point so yeah i hope the expansion makes a bit more sense to you now how it works what routes you need to take to get to what races you want to do there are bonus boards as you can see on screen here but they are all related to the road racing now when i activated my treasure map because i have the treasure map to show me all the bonus boards it shows all of these bonus board locations so on screen right now if you want to get them all here the locations are but what's very interesting is the dirt racing also has its own sort of bonus board that's not a bonus board but those don't come up on the treasure map so it's a little bit weird but here are the bonus board locations for the road rally racing if you want to go and collect them all it is one of the challenges so there you are if you're having any troubles or any questions about the expansion pop it down in the comment section below but i thoroughly hope you go enjoy it like if you've enjoyed everyone i'll see you all later